in this video today, I would like to show you how to configure to access my local hot website on IAD Internet Information Services from another PC. Okay, for example, when you are working in a team on the website development project and you want to be hosting the website on your local PC and then you expose the website for other people in the team accessing into the same website on the PC. So, in this video today, I will guide you step by step on how to do configure to expose your website for other people. Okay, so now, let's get started. And here, on this video, I will be using two PC to show the demonstration. The first one, this is my PC, and the second one here, this is my remote desktop PC. So now, I will assume my remote desktop PC will be a server where I can host the website on the IIS server. Both PC install the Windows 10. Yeah. So let me open the second server in a remote desktop. And then I will open the browser. You have to make sure that on the hosting server, you will install the IIS service on that PC. So open browser and type in the local hot. Enter. If you can see the default page of the Internet Information Service, like this one, that means you will install the Internet Information Services on this PC successfully. That means for now we are able to host the website on this server. Okay, so here, let me open Internet Information Services Manager on this PC. Let's go ahead to click on the Start button and then type in the Internet, Internet Information Services Manager. Yeah, or even you can right click on the Start button, select the Run, and you type in the INET MCR and click on OK button, it will be open the same Internet Information Services Manager window. In the IAD Manager here, you can see on the left-hand side, we have a menu for the connections. Yeah. Click on the arrow button here to open the more detail. By default, after you install the IIS Manager on this PC, so it will have only one side default. For now, Right click on the side folder here and click on the add website option. It will open up a add website dialog. We have to provide the sign name, uh, the physical path and the hot name. Yeah. In this video, we only need to focus on the sign name, the physical path and the hot name. Yeah. So now here, I will try to enter some the sign name for this one. It will be the tnviet.local. Yeah. I will name this sign name is dot local because when we are hosting the website on the local PC, we should have the domain name is local to indicate that this website is hosting on local PC in this uh, public it on the internet. So as a people in the team or even as a people outside of the team, if they are going to access into the website, they know this website is hosting on local instead of the public website. Yeah. And of course, you can name me for this website with other name. No need to enter the domain name in local. Yeah. And for the physical path, for this one, you have to create a folder on the window PC hard disk. Yeah. I will do it later and I will copy the sign name and then I put it into the hard name. For other thing, I will leave it by default, uh, but I will try to explain it a little bit here. For the application pool, by default, after you create any new website on this PC, it will automatically generate a new application pool for the website to hosting and do some configure for this website. Yeah. And for the buying tie here, we have the HTTP or HTTPS for buying. And we also able to assign the IP address 
and port number for the website. Yeah. And I will open the window, a folder. Yeah. And I will have the interpub folder, www root folder. Yeah. And then I will create a folder here inside this root folder. Actually, you can create a, another folder outside of the of this folder. However, for manage the website, I will try to manage it at only one location. So here you can see we have the iisstat.htm. This is the default web page for local hot. This one. Okay. And so now I will create a new folder. And then I will name it GNVS testing. Double click on this one. And then you will go ahead to create a file inside this. And I will copy this one, HTML, edit here. And then I will rename this one with the testing.htm. For the HTML show, we can end with the extension E. HTM or HTML. Yeah. It would be the same. And for the HTM, this one is a certain way for the HTML. Right click on the file and it will try to select an editor on this PC to edit the content inside the HTML file. On this PC, I'm using the puppet plus plus. So I will open this HTML file in this puppet plus plus. And this one is the current HTML code for IIS stat by default. So I don't want to try to explain more detail for the structure of this HTML file, but inside the body, we, I will try to delete this, the content inside the body. And then I will define as a div with open and close tag here. And inside it, main div, I will have a tag e at one to make the tag e bigger. I will enter the name. Hello. Hello from Chien Viet. Yeah. Save it up. Yeah. Save it again. Okay. And I will close this one. And then. I will copy the path here for the chain testing folder and put it inside the physical path of the add a new website. Yeah. So after we put the path of the physical path here into the dialog, you can see we are able to click on the OK button on this dialog. By default, we have a checkbox to select the start website immediately. Yeah. So keep this check box and click on OK button. Yeah. So after that, after you click on OK button, you see on the left hand side, we have a new website, gnvs.local has been created. Okay. Take a look into the right hand side. We have the, some of the actions for the website has been created here. In the manage website, we have the pro website. Click on the Bro GNVN local website here on the HTTP. It will open up the website in the browser. However, you see here, we cannot open this website. And it seems for now we still have some, uh, some issue with website. That means we have to do some another configure to make it work. Okay. So open the C drive. Go to the window. Scroll it down and go to the system 32 folder. Scroll it down and go to drivers. Open the etc folder. In the etc folder, you see we have a host file here. Right click on this one and open it in the notepad plus plus. So here you can see on this file, we have some other configure here. We have an IP address. 127.0.0.1. This is the default IP address for the local hot. Yeah. So I mean, open back to the browser. 
when you access into localhost, you type in into browser with the name is localhost, or even when you type the IP address here, it would be the same. Yeah, that means the localhost and this IP here it would be the same. Okay, close this one. Also close this one. Back to the hot website, and I will create a mapping here for this local hot, and then I will have a website already defined in the IIS manager, gnvs.local. Name it here, gnvs.local. Save it up. Get. Okay. And then back to the browser. Try to refresh this website. Yeah. So in this, I'm getting the default error message from browser. And you see now we get the forbidden. The web server is configured to not list in the content of this directory. Okay. Open the folder. And you see in the GNVS testing folder, we have the test.htm. Yeah. So that means here we have to provide the file name, testing.htm. Enter. Yeah. So here, copy this one. And you have to enter the HTTP. Yeah. Okay. You got this message. Hello from GNVS. Yeah. So here, try on more time and try to edit the content inside this one. Time for watching. Back to browser. Yeah, the message inside this one has been updated. Okay, so for now, it seems we are hosting the website running on this PC. Yeah, so I will copy this URL and then I will back to another PC. I will open the browser on this PC and paste the same URL here. Yeah, I will get in the same issue. Cannot load the content of this website. Yeah, so here, that means I have to do some mapping for the IP address into the hot file on this PC. I have to do the same thing what I did on the remote PC. Okay, open the zip PC. And go to C window, system 32. Scroll it down and go to driver folder. ETC, open the host file. Yeah, the same thing. Yeah. So, okay. I will have, so now I will try to mapping with the local hot IP address here. And I will have gnvs.local. So do you think it will be run or not? Yeah. Okay, so let's try. Back to the website. Refresh this one. Yeah. So you see here, the web page does not found. Yeah. Okay. That means we are having some the issue with the configuration. Okay. Back to the remote desktop PC. And here, you know, on, on this PC, we are using the local hot for mapping. However, on my first PC, if I using the same local hot, so it will look up the file and the website inside the first PC. In this of getting the information from the remote PC, that's why it will display the error message here. The page cannot be found. Yeah. So in the first PC, it is a mapping by using a local hot IP address. So we have you the physical IP address of the remote PC. Okay, so here, let me come back to the remote PC. And how can we get in the IP address for the remote PC? Just go ahead and right click on the start button, run, you type in CMD, command line here and here you type in the command line here with the ip config enter and you see here we have ip 
This is the current IP address for the remote PC. Yeah. It here, it will be the same for the remote laptop IP address. That means I have to copy the IP address here and put it into the hosting, mapping hosting file here. In this, I'm using the local host here. I will have the 132.90.201. Nine six. Save it up. Yeah. And then come back to the browser. Try to reflect this one. Yeah. So here you can see after we complete the configure for this IP address, and then you can access into the website. Okay. And one more thing, I will come back to the remote desktop PC. And I will try to edit the content one more time. Bye-bye. Come back to the first PC. Refresh. Yeah, bye-bye. Okay. So I think that's all for today. And after you finish this video, you know how to do the configuration to allow other people in the team working together in a local network at the same location. And then when you're hosting the website on one PC, you can expose it for other people access into the same website. Yeah. In order to access into the same website, so we have to add the mapping into the hot file in the PC. Yeah. Okay. So I hope this video will have fun for you. Let me know if you see any issue. Bye bye. See you guys in the next lesson.